Mike? Mike, wake up, damn it! What's the matter? Can't be my watch already. Engine kicked in. Don't be stupid. It's four days to the correction point. They're running now. Can't you feel them? Christ! Override them! Override them! I tried. There's no response. I think we're dead, Mike. It looks like machine failure. Either engine control or the main flight computer. They'll let us know if they find the fault. Who's Mike got with him? Lara. Who else? They'll be missed. Do you want the official frills and furbelows for your new boss? Oh, hell no. Time enough for all that crap if we called him for real. This is WBC News on the Hour. The continued refusal of the United States to allow inspection of its latest unmanned orbital station led all the major space powers to launch formal protests in Geneva today. Speculation that the unmanned station is military and constitutes a treaty violation Spring has been few. Falling, right? Yeah, only forever. Oh, thanks. Some people get over it. Some people? I think it's too late to get a refund on my ticket. I don't think you're ever going to be able to afford to go back inside. You're not going to find me for that. I mean, I was half asleep and I play fair. Why not? I mean, you can rely upon space to play fair. After all, nothing's going to kill you when you're half asleep. All right, now don't be smart ass, Inspector. I hate a smart ass first thing in the morning. <laughs> Assuming that's what this is. Yeah, you've been asleep by, uh, what, 10 hours or so? Yeah, well, that's close enough. I need some help with that. When I need help, I will ask for it. Oh, sorry. Look, don't ever offer help to an embarrassed authority figure. David is a very fast way to get kicked. Well, at least it would be if I could get my bloody legs out of this stupid uh, contraption. Nathan, what do you say I bring you some breakfast to the oh. Shall I? Supper, maybe? Uh, screen. Music. Oh. You're sure he's not going to want the full treatment on Mike and Lara? Uh, trust me. I'll keep your office informed, then. Thanks. Keep us informed of what? Get somebody to repair that sleeping harness, will you? Right. Breakfast. Oh. I'm not very hungry, actually, at the moment. Falling's easier with something in your stomach. A sword, preferably. Do you know I feel worse now than when I first got here? This could be your age. Nausea is not a recognized symptom of midlife crisis. Other people's might make you sick, but not your own. Oh. That's not what I meant. I know, I'm late flowering for a spaceman. Do you know, I really have a natural aptitude for this, don't I? Keep us informed of what? Oh, um, there's a two-man freighter gone rogue heading to the dark. Flight crew's dead. Well, how did that happen? Investigations are proceeding. Isn't that standard cop speak for we're unlikely ever to know? Well, what investigations? Who's doing these investigations? The flight crew, naturally. Y you just said they were dead. Yeah, technically speaking, but not, you know. Inspector Thru, it may have escaped your notice, but I am feeling a little below par. Now, that tends to make me irritable. You add somebody playing silly bastards and I become homicidal. They've got limited life support and no fuel left to correct their course. They'll run out of air before they run out of space. That's standard crew speak for they're dead, and everyone, including them, knows it. Oh, I see. Do you? I have things to learn. Yeah. Then don't we all? Fox. Yes, Nathan. There must be something I can do about the way I'm feeling. 
Transfer to an environment which is blessed with gravity. It is unlikely that you will ever fully adapt to prolonged weightlessness. Any suggestions? It would appear there Shut is... Shut up, Fox. It would appear that there's an office on Moon Base you could use. Well, I'll settle for any gravity I can get. Control. Yes, Commander. Welcome to Eurospace Station. I need Jack. to visit Moon Base as soon as practical. Can you make the necessary arrangements? I'll let you know when it's set up, sir. Thank you. It would be more expensive as a base, of course. You'd need a 1-6 rated launch vehicle. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Pox couldn't have put all that together from the question you asked. Why not? It's a machine. So? Are you telling me it was listening all the time, making assumptions and judgments and drawing conclusions? That's a clever little bastard, isn't it? <laughs> it's a human being to do all that. There is a message. All messages for Nathan Spring are to be rerouted up to European Space Station Charles de Gaulle. Should that be out? Anyway, he's not on Earth anymore. There is a message. Who is the message for? The message is for Lee Jones. For me? Why here? I left no instructions for rerouting. For further information, please enter your personal identification number. C398 LR9421. Thank you, Lee Jones. The message is coded for your eyes only. Oh, for pity's sake. It will be necessary for you to enter your personal code. Jones, LJ, systematic ZZ2. And as a final safeguard, your confidential keyword must be entered before the message can be delivered. Nathan, if this is one of your practical jokes, you can find yourself a professional caretaker to keep an eye on this place. In a very short while, your message will be unscrambled and relayed to you. Or, oh, to put it another way... And not too long, my love. Jokes are all about timing, I think. This service has been brought to you by Unicom, the secure communications link. Thank you for patronizing Unicom. You're entirely welcome. And all the time, I thought you were patronizing me. Imagine that. Just goes to show you how easy it is to misjudge the Ordinary, warm-hearted, multinational corporation. Obviously, that was intended to keep her sitting at the console, so the killer would know precisely where she was, even in the dark. Why is it obvious? It's what the computer suggested. Thank you, Sergeant Coolman. When I want your input, I'll ask for it. Sorry, sir. Try to remember you're new around here. Sorry, sir. And I'll try and do the same. Did the computer also say why the message was left on the screen? You tell us. I didn't make that call. Well, Unicom have charged it to your account. I haven't got an account with Unicom. Well, they'll be disappointed about that, especially as they seem to have all your right numbers. Well, one of his right numbers, sir. Well, the rest they issue themselves when they open the account. As frames go, it's fairly crude. 
As killings go, it wasn't exactly neat. Why would anyone want to frame you, Spring? Commander Spring, it is Commander Spring, Chief Inspector. You may not be bright, but you can at least be civil. 